Hello, my name is Lisette Perez, and I'd like to present you a brief overview of my article, Mucoadesive Electrospoon Nanofibers for Drug Delivery Systems, Application of Polymers and the Parameters Role. In this paper, I review the latest works involving several pathology treatments through mucoadesive nanofibers delivery systems, which differ from conventional forms as tablets, films, and ointments. In this article, we can find electrospinning technique parameter role, mucoadesive forces, mucoadesive polymers, mucoadesive drug delivery systems, application of mucoadesive nanofibers, future perspectives, and conclusions. There is an increasing need to search for drug delivery systems that can secure enough contact time into the absorption site. While traditional formulation must be ingested or injected, mucoadesive delivery systems can be easily applied near to the affected zone, with better acceptance from the patient. There are several polymers with bioadesive characteristics derived from their physical and chemical properties. A great number of studies have indicated that molecular weight of polymers have a powerful influence over the adhesive forces due to interpenetration or cross-linking with the mucosal site. Electrospoon nanofibers have been widely studied for many medical applications. They can be designed with particular features, include adhesive properties, to perform as control delivery systems for specific pharmaceutical drugs. Among many characteristics are the high encapsulation efficiency and flexible capacity used for target release and optimal drug delivery. Several studies have used mucoadesive electrospoon nanofibers for a drug administration in different mucosal sites as oral, vaginal, gastroenteric, ocular, and nasal. Between these, ocular mucosa have very few reports available because of the difficult access to the mucosal samples. At the same time, nasal site is easily accessed but uncomfortable to the patient, therefore the reports are limited. Despite all the clear advantages of the mucoresive nanofibers like resident time prolongation and drug release control, these strategies still present some challenges to the research community. Even electrospinning device can produce nanofibers with an excellent quality, a specific quantity of drug cannot be loaded into a specific area. This work discusses several studies that show evidence of the potential role of nanofiber scaffolds as raw delivery systems in mucosal tissue to improve viability in situ. Thank you for your time.